guys <clears throat> a lot of uh, confusion is about this rotational path of insertion in Kennedy class 4 and the retention how it's being taken and probably the reason is that some of the things we cannot visualize so I'm here to uh, solve your problem and to clarify the confusion with this video so let's start this is the question <clears throat> the rotational path of insertion for the class 4 partially edentulous patient uses which of the following components for direct retention it is not asking for indirect retention it is asking for direct retention on the anterior abutments not asking for any other place whether they are on molars or anywhere anterior abutments and we know that class 4 is anterior edentulous area crossing the midline so we have options cingulum rests eye bars casted double embrasure clasps proximal plates so first of all let's see this is the situation they are talking about we have a class 4 edentulous area or Kennedy class 4 uh, edentulous area so we need to get direct retention on these anterior abutments well <clears throat> first of all we will see we will analyze the cast first of all by eyeballing by hand holding and using the periodontal probe to determine if we have some undercuts and if these undercuts are present whether they are favorable they are unfavorable will they be hindering the placement of distal or posterior uh, rests or not will they be having difficulty in seating the denture in the rest seat area or not well we will analyze the cast and over here from this analysis we determined that if we will go for first of all in anterior we cannot go for the circumferential clasp so that is out of question if we in such a situation if we have to go for an eye bar in order to fulfill the aesthetic requirements check out how large undercut we have and even if we will look there would be chances of some soft tissue interference so if there will be such a situation either we have to prepare this tooth uh, like quite substantially we have to prepare this tooth we have to remove a substantial amount of the tooth in order to provide a proper guiding plane over here well if we will do that still we will have soft tissue interference so like in this situation over here we have in the lower I have taken it from some uh, uh, website so I'm sorry but uh, otherwise I had no other option to use any other picture of a very nice uh, explanation so over here we have <coughs> upper class 4 and lower Kennedy class 2 probably yes class 2 because I think there is a posterior tooth present over here I'm not very sure about whether they have used it as an abutment or not so they have utilized I bars in the lower denture but in upper they cannot use the eye pass so now let's see what they have done what is rotational path of insertion all of us know <clears throat> when one portion is inserted first permitting rigid portions of the RPD those are proximal plates to engage the undercuts the prosthesis is then rotated into the position in the posterior quadrants limited to the tooth bone RPDs 
most often used to restore the anterior extension defects with anterior extension if you remember i have shown you the picture of anterior extension denture where use of attachments or clasp is unfavorable why we have to go for the rotational path of insertion what are the advantage elimination of unesthetic retainers those are clasp arms the circumferential clasp arms the clasp arms are replaced by rigid retainers rigid retainers these rigid retainers engage undercuts and consist of a positive rest and a minor connector that is proximal plate so these rigid retainers engage undercuts and they consist of a positive rest and a minor connector that is proximal plate well there is little tolerance for error it requires a high level of sophistication on the part of both the dentist and the lab technician requires well prepared positive rest seats may require restorations to develop an acceptable rest seat and undercuts in the pos posterior rest seat will prevent proper seating again i will go and i will show you elimination of the unesthetic retainers these are the clasp arms the clasp arms are replaced by rigid retainers these rigid retainers they engage undercuts and consist of a positive rest and a minor connector proximal plate so if we will check this question whether these are cingulum rests cast eye bars double embrasure clasps or the proximal plates answer a is proximal plates from which we are gaining the retention so over here we are done with this question